was, I wasn't at home. There were reactions, and a lot of our churches were burned, including my own house. My only saving grace was that I was not around at home. Only God knows what would have happened if I were at home. And uh, unfortunately, we lost one of our priests, Reverend Father Michael Gajere. And uh, like I mentioned, uh, on the 18th of this month, we shall be celebrating the 10th anniversary of his death. And uh, so it, it, it was really, um, I think it is good to say that uh, before then, Meiduguri was not known, known for religious violence, even though there were those kind of uh, subtle persecutions against Christians. But since the, what happened in, uh, in 2006 with the Danish uh, Katu's reactions in Meiduguri that led to the destruction of a lot of our properties, I think things have changed. And uh, eventually, of course, we, we, we've seen, the result is that uh, Boko Haram now, yeah, you know, has arisen, you know. And uh, as a matter of fact, my house that was burned, during the Danish cartoons in 2006, February 2006, was just about a stone throw from, from the capital of the uh, of Boko Haram. I remember from 2003 up to the time they burned my house, every money I had to pass through the Boko Haram headquarters. And I saw it coming, I saw it developing. Unfortunately, nobody saw it. And therefore, you know, so no wonder, you know, even the church that was burned, you know, uh, along with my own house in 2006, we rebuilt it. And then, of course, during the Boko Haram, it has been destroyed uh, uh, again. Even in Kaduna, you know, you, you, uh, some four years ago, we, one of our churches, St. Rita's, uh, you know, uh, was, uh, you know, bombed. And we lost many lives there in the church, and uh, a lot of uh, destruction was caused. So, um, yes, once upon a time, and uh, you, you, woke, you woke up, you were never sure whether you would be alive, you went to church, you were never sure whether you come out, you will be attacked, you know, as a result of what, what happened. You are never sure when you wake up and go to church on Sunday, am I going to come back alive? You know, will I be bombed? Will, will something happen to me? And so, yes, I think it is, it, 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 two, two, three years ago, yeah, I mean, living in Kaduna, and I'm sure in a lot of northern places, it, it, it was, uh, you know, a matter of uh, concern because you, you, you never can tell what will happen to you.